Well, now for something quite different. If you're in a hurry to get from one place to another these days, you go by air, because some of the fast passenger airliners can do speeds of over 600 miles an hour. And they've brought down the flight time between London and Paris to 55 minutes. But until a few weeks ago, getting from the air terminal in Earls Court, London, out to London Airport was a very different matter. It's about 15 miles to travel, and if your plane took off at rush hour time, the journey by bus to the airport could take you longer than the actual time you spent in the plane. But this has all changed now. A splendid motorway has been built across London, and I drove out the other day to have a look at it. The new motorway signs marked the beginning of the M4 route to London Airport. From here, the spur road soars on stilts above the old Great West Road, and there are no traffic jams or lights to hold you up. With your eyes on the road, there's something you might not notice. Mounted on vantage points along the route are remote-controlled television cameras. As you drive along, you don't notice them, but they get a jolly good view of you. The cameras belong to the police, and on their monitor screens they watch out for trouble. If anything should go wrong, a breakdown or an accident, the spot can be pinpointed and a Z car rushed out to give assistance. Automatic controls are used to make the camera zoom in for a closer look. And from the monitor screen, the police can keep an eagle eye on the traffic without going anywhere near the road. The men in control at Hounslow Police Station know exactly what's going on every minute of the day. As I came along, I didn't know exactly where the cameras were placed, but they followed my car all along the route, and every move I made was being watched. There's my car flashing across the screen now. When you're driving on a motorway, you can go as fast as you like, but it's quite easy to miss your turning off when you're driving at speed. I was watching out for the left turn that takes you to the airport. Once you're in the airport grounds, everything is so streamlined that it's easy to think you're still on the motorway, but you're not. You have to make sure to reduce your speed through the tunnel that leads to the passenger buildings. Coaches bring passengers and their luggage straight to the main departure buildings, but I had to find somewhere to park, and that was streamlined too. As the car draws up to this barrier, the driver is automatically issued with a ticket. The barrier rises as you take the ticket. There's no attendant. Machines do all the work. Inside, it's one of the biggest car parks in the country. There are spaces for over a thousand cars, and coloured lights guide you up the ramps to find your parking bay. Before this multi-storey unit was built, the old car park on the ground held only 260 vehicles. This building is about 300 feet long, 200 feet wide, and 50 feet high, and it cost £350,000 to build. followed the lights right up to the roof and found myself a good spot to park. The whole drive from the beginning of the motorway out to the airport had taken me only 15 minutes. I hadn't come as fast as a jet plane, but the new road had got me here in record time. But even if you're not flying anywhere, it's well worth taking a trip along the new motorway to the airport. You can take a look at the new buildings here and watch the giant jets taking off for destinations all over the world.
Well, it certainly is a fabulous drive down there, and I expect you noticed the new motorway signs, but they're not the only new signs that are going to appear on the roads now, because we're going over to the European, the continental style of signs, and uh, Gary Gray, who lives near Liverpool, has sent in a jolly good idea, and here they are. These tiny signs here are made on balsa wood, and what he's done is cut the details, the uh, actual pictures of them, off one of these pamphlets. Now, this is the pamphlet here. It's called New Traffic Signs, and uh, it only costs sixpence. You can get it from a newsagent's or from a garage, too, I believe, and it's made by the stationery office, HM stationery office, you see. And inside are all the signs, and they're just about the right size for model railways and motorways, which is jolly handy. And uh, they're all painted in the, or coloured, in the correct colours. 